Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here. Had several people ask me, he said, Dan, you don't seem to be making slingshots anymore. Um, I am. It just kind of, things slowed down for a minute. Uh, nothing serious. They're, they're picking right back up again. Um, been real busy at work. Nothing new there. But got sick on top of that. Um, had a really bad case of strep throat. Uh, didn't want to seem to go away, probably because I was working too hard at the same time. You know how that is. If you don't take rest, your body can't heal itself. But on top of that, I have a daughter who now plays on two lacrosse teams. So suddenly, uh, daddy has had to refurbish a lot of sticks or restring a lot of sticks the way she wants them. The first one, uh, we actually, this is, this is the second one I made doesn't much care for this kind of stringing which is what I did um, had to clean it all up the, these kind of sticks are no longer made and she really likes them so I had to buy a couple of old ones and refurbish them but uh, we'll probably eventually take this out and put in what she likes this is actually truly the first one I redid when it came in there was nothing in here uh, this the handle needed a little work um, took care of that dressed that up and then put in this venom mesh for her okay she really likes the mesh um, so when I did the other one like this didn't much care for that it didn't work as well she said so that's cool she's found what she likes in the mesh so we got that one then I picked up this one, and you'll notice, if you look at this one closely, it's a square edge. She really likes that. This one took a little while to refurbish too. The handle had a few bad nicks and whatnot, and then um, had to drill a couple of the holes cleaner. Uh, other than that, put in the new mesh that she likes, right? Then slowly working on getting it, because once you put a new mesh in, Every game it stretches a bit until the leathers hit the right, hit the right um, stretch or ex get to the limit. So had to work on that, but we got that all. So she uses this a lot. Well, because she liked the square bottom better, I went looking for that specific model. Found a pretty beat up one, and had to completely repaint it, restring it do some sanding back here and dressing up with some resin. Um, put one of those, you know, the electrical, you know, covers electrical wiring and you heat it and you shrink and it shrinks. There's a company called Sniper Sling that uses that and will put the kid's name on it for you. Okay. Uh, I may not buy from them in the future. I may just buy the material and do it myself. Okay. Uh, like I said, repainted the whole thing, reminding myself how to paint for a second, spray paint. So this one took a while, but she really likes it. So anyway, thought you guys would want to see some of the crazy things I'm doing. Uh, sometimes as a father, you're called on to go to your workshop to do something other than slingshots. But anyway, don't worry guys, I've started two or three slingshots up again. Um, got a couple that are about, you know, a few hours away from being finished as well. Um, we'll see how that all goes over the next few weeks. Anyway, take care guys. Like I said, I suddenly become a lacrosse stick ex expert, <laughs> if you want to call it that. But I sure know how to string one of these quick. <laughs> take care.